Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Monday, April 15th, 2024, Monday of the third week of Easter. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did, for through the healing paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from John, chapter 6, verses 22 through 29. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Jesus had fed the five thousand men, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there, and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias near the place where they had eaten the bread when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen. Amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection In today's Gospel, we read that shortly after feeding the 5,000 people, Jesus needed a little time to himself. These events had to be exhausting for him, physically and even spiritually at times. Jesus needed some time alone in prayer with God to recharge. He needed rest. He needed downtime, just like the rest of us. Jesus needed to take care of himself. How often do we include time in prayer as recharging or taking care of ourselves? Are we even good at taking care of ourselves? I think of all the clergy and men and women religious who work tirelessly to care for their parishioners. Do we allow them to take care of themselves? Are we taking care of them? Jesus' disciples certainly had their flaws like we all do, but one thing is clear, and that is while Jesus was active in his ministry, they took care of their master. They were even protective of him at times. Do we show that same care for those clergy and religious who care for us? It's important for us to reflect on the men and women who have sacrificed so much for us through their vocations. Think about your pastor. Does he have a priest who serves with him? Do they have other duties assigned to them by the bishop, like serving the local Catholic school, hospital visitations, diocesan committees, or ministries? How about his personal life? Maybe he takes care of his aging parents or a family member. Maybe he himself suffers from health issues. None of these or many of these situations may apply to your pastor, but one thing is universal, and that is that he is just a man. And as a man, he does the very best he can to serve the needs of your parish. How many families are in your parish? Imagine just being one or two priests and serving hundreds or maybe a couple thousand families. In today's gospel, the people were seeking Jesus not for spiritual needs. He had just fed them and they wanted more food. They weren't seeking him for the right reasons, and that had to be exhausting for him too. When we seek our priests or our men and women religious for help, oftentimes it might be for something that's transactional, and there's nothing wrong with that. I need a copy of my baptismal certificate. I need to set a date for a wedding or to buy a mass card. 
But let's remember that they face the same pressures and stresses that we all face, and they bring the same limitations, weaknesses, and humanity that we all have. Ordination and consecrated life does not spare them from their own human weakness. Jesus was both human and divine, but these folks are only human. So I invite you to pray for them today and ask yourself, how am I supporting this person in their vocation? That's what Jesus' disciples did for him, and that's what we need to do for each other, especially our church ministers. And so today, let's pray for our clergy and men and women religious, that God will grant them what they need to be healthy in mind, body, and spirit. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.